Well, the theme is moisture today, and so you know, you're dealing with all the moisture in the air, you, you head for more moisture. Kids are playing at Splash Park there, that's near the uh, Rookwood Shopping Center. That's one way to stay cool. Yeah, you splash around, kick it around. It doesn't look like the weather is going to get in the way of any outdoor activities you have planned other than staying cool because there will be more scenes like that right there. And this right here, the excessive heat warning goes until 8 p.m. on Saturday. It covers the entire tri-state area. So this is just a bump up from the uh, the heat watch that was in place. Technically, it doesn't start until 2 o'clock uh, this afternoon, but it goes until 8 p.m. on Saturday. The heat index numbers in the afternoon at their peak will be somewhere between about 100 and 105. So obviously, reduce those outdoor activities unless they involve a pool. Future cast shows the next chance of seeing any showers around. The reason that they have it for the moment only going through Saturday at the weather service is they also are thinking that we'll see some showers around and maybe enough extra clouds on Sunday that it won't get quite as hot. Now it's still going to be warm on Sunday, but there are rain chances Sunday and also going into Monday, probably diminishing by Monday night. But until then, the overall pattern isn't going to change a whole lot in the upper air. I mean, the uh, the upper air patterns have really uh, built a big ridge over this part of the country. So until we start to see more in the way of uh, precipitation and more in a, of a dip in this, things aren't going to change. This is right now. Roll that through Saturday at six o'clock. No, it didn't really uh, change. It begins to take a dip then by the time we get into late Sunday and into Monday and Tuesday especially. And because of that dip, Check this out. Next week, most of the work week is actually going to be below average. So give you a little reason for optimism there. We're way up here right now, but we will be back in the blue next week. And so what will also happen is the dew point temperatures will start to fall on Monday. It won't be quite as close. So it won't be quite as uh, you know, stifling out there by Monday. And then Tuesday, those dew points will actually be down into the 50s. So that's what's ahead. What's out there right now? The air quality is good at this hour. 29 is the uh, number from that. The pollen count is low and the mold continues to be high. Those uh, clouds have been building from time to time as we look at a view from our tower cam and uh, now we'll flip it around and show you a shot from uh, Nippert where tonight the heat index will still be into the 90s when FC Cincinnati is playing. Right now it feels like 98 in Hamilton, 96 in Middletown. There's the view from our Joseph Infinity of Cincinnati uh, camera network. We're looking at Nippert. So if you're going there uh, this evening, obviously you're going to be dealing with temperatures even warmer than that. We're up to 85 right now. The dew point is 76. Man, that's high. That is tropical. And you see the other little item there, the wind calm. So going out the door this afternoon should get up into the low 90s, 2 o'clock, 89, 93 later on, and maybe a pop up shower or thunderstorm. Overall, though, the story will continue to be the temperatures over the next few days. 93 today, possibly into the mid 90s Friday and Saturday. That's where the heat advisory for the moment, the excessive heat warning ends. But on uh, Sunday, it'll still be up into the mid 90s. Liz, the relief comes next week. 80 on Tuesday, 82 on Wednesday with lower humidity also.